everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. talk all over of the mystical snake-like creature known as Tsuchinoko. Oh, boy. I'm sure Tsuchinoko is real. It says here that it was the size of a glass bottle, and above all, this farmer Tanaka guy claims he saw it. So, Tsuchinoko does exist, huh? What's this? The department store is offering a one million yen reward to the person who captures it. That's amazing. Think of it. If I were able to obtain one million yen right before the summer holidays began. Hey, Georgie, hurry up. Right. This is my goal, then, to get that one million yen reward. Listen up, Dad. Uh? What is it you've always wanted? Um... You don't have to hesitate. Uh... Just tell me what you want, Dad. All right, then. I want to see your school report with perfect scores. I didn't mean something as unrealistic as that. You need to choose something that money can buy. Uh, which one is unrealistic now? So, where do you think I could find a Tsuchinoko at this moment? Nobody knows where. That's why it's called a mystical snake. Very reasonable logic. Just take a wild guess. It'll do. I don't think you can. It doesn't exist. I agree. No one has ever found the Kappa or the Loch Ness Monster either. Sure, but this guy says he's seen a Tsuchinoko. He probably just saw a snake in the grass or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying you to a thing when I've won that prize money. Uh, hi, Grandpa. Has there ever been something you wanted but couldn't have? Yeah. I'm going to be able to buy it for you very soon. <laughs> That's good to know. I guess when you're a bit older, I'll tell you what it is. No, now. I can buy it much sooner. The way I see it, I'll manage to buy it for you in about a week or so. Huh? Don't ask me how I'll do it. Just tell me what you want, please. Your questions come out of the blue, so... Fine. Think about it. And don't worry about how expensive it is. Uh, uh, Maruko! Could it be? Oh, please, don't do anything irresponsible! The next day. You're lying. No, I'm not lying. Yeah, you are. <gasps> What's going on? Uh, Mara-chan. She is telling us lies. She said she saw a Tsuchinoko. You did? Yes, but it's true, but nobody seems to believe me. What's wrong with you guys? Why can't you believe her? If you're so adamant, why don't you capture it and show us? <laughs> All right, I will! Oh. Maru-chan! Hmm. <clears throat> now, don't you worry. I'll work hard to find a Tsuchinoko for you. Really? Thank you. Frankly speaking, I'd like to take part in this project with you as well. Because with me involved, a Tsuchinoko will very soon become like a bird in a cage. A Tsuchinoko's a Tsuchinoko, not a bird. Maruko, it's just a metaphor. In return for my help, we spit the one million yen reward equally. So, he knows about the million yen reward then. Also, if we capture it, then people have to pay to see it. 
That's a brilliant idea. I agree. Maybe we could capture a male and a female. We'll breed them and sell them. Now we're starting to think like businessmen. This is so exciting, isn't it? Yeah, what name should we give our company? Take Sue from Suyo, Ta from Tame, and Mo from Momoko. Yes, that's it. Habasutamo Suchinoko Company Limited. Wow, that sounds cool. It does not. Sutamo Suchinoko Company Limited sells things like Suchinoko buns and Suchinoko stickers. And our ultimate goal will be to run multiple businesses managing properties such as office buildings. By the way, do both of you agree to appoint me to the post of president of Sutamo Suchinoko Company Limited? Yes. Dad, listen. I need to ask you something quick. And I'll answer. Go on. How do I inform the academic community that I've just discovered an entirely new species? <laughs> also, how do I file a patent license when I start a new line of business? <sighs> is this part of your social studies homework? I'm surprised how advanced your curriculum is. <sighs> I get it. You don't know, do you? That's okay. I'll figure it out myself. <laughs> the next day. Hey, Mom, I need a catchna and rat trap. You what? What do you need those things for? It's a secret. I can't tell you, Mom. Then no. I need to know why you want them. I can't tell you what they're for, but I also need a bucket that can hold a glass bottle-sized reptile. <sighs> so you're looking for a Tsuchinoko. Uh, the cat's out of the bag. But please don't tell Dad about this, because he'll just make fun of me. You got it. <laughs> it seems he already knows your plan. <sighs> now look, once I've caught it, I'm going to keep the Tsuchinoko at home for a few days, so I need a basket. As you wish. See you later, everybody. Back soon. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm late, guys. <laughs> You're late by one minute and 20 seconds to be precise. Therefore, as an employee of the company, you should be disciplined. And frankly, you know I'm right! Anyway, now that we're all here, I'd like to make an announcement. This morning, I was watching a special TV program called To Hunt for a Tsuchinoko, and it revealed to me that a Tsuchinoko is capable of leaping rather high. Huh? That's right! Furthermore, a Tsuchinoko can be quite fierce and poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> then they said it was just a rumor, so there's no need to be frightened by it. You know what? Let's forget this. We can only own our own company if we're alive, right? Even if you're alive, the only way to have it is by capturing a Tsuchinoko. Right. Let's go. No more wasting time. Whoever finds one should call out loudly to the others. Right. <laughs> Tsuchinoko you saw was around here, Tama-chan? Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh! I spotted a Tsuchinoko! Uh -huh. yeah! I got it! I got it! <laughs> Take a look and tell me what's inside the net! Uh-uh. Just a ragged sock, Maruo-kun. Seriously, all that acting over a sock. Wow. <laughs> Come on now. Anybody can make a mistake, correct? Sure, it was a bit embarrassing, but still. Hey, what's up, guys? Huh? Oh, what are the three of you doing out here? Uh, hey, Hanawa-kun. I'm just out for a quick ride in my favorite car, the Fiero. Huh. Hello, children. Could it be that you kids are looking for a Tsuchinoko? Huh? <gasps> of course not. Why would we be? Don't joke around, Mr. Hide. Right. See you guys at school tomorrow. Au revoir. Frankly speaking, that's just the kind of life I want to have, and I will. Once our company becomes a success, then we'll all have it. Yes! The world is our oyster! <laughs> Come, let's get back to finding a Tsuchinoko! Yes. Ooh. Huh?
The noise is suspicious. It could very well be a Suchinoko. Let's go in and check it out. Mm. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I have no idea where this massive hole came from, but it was covered up. <laughs> That's why I couldn't see it. <laughs> Could you help me get out of here, please? <laughs> Come on! Thanks for helping me out. You saved me. <sighs> Guys, I think I'm done with all this. I really don't want any of us to get hurt out here. I guess so. Maru-chan? What happened to you? What's with your right eye? My right lens is broken. Are you all right, though? Uh, I don't think there's a problem, but thanks. <laughs> so, shall we get out of here, then? Yeah. Maruo-kun, you look like a Picasso painting. Sutamo Suchinoko Company Limited turned out to be a pipe dream. Yeah. But we're glad you didn't get hurt. We should be thankful for that. I guess so, but thanks to that, I can still run for class representative in the fall quarter. <laughs> you guys saw that over there, didn't you? Um, I saw it, and honestly, it looked really similar to what I saw the other day. Several days have passed since then. As expected, no one talks about the Tsuchinoko anymore. Maruko, I got it. I want one of those machines that creates bubbles in a bathtub. Mm? Yeah, you told me you'd buy something for me. And <laughs> cost doesn't matter, right? You've made me very happy. Yeah. The Tsuchinoko may have been an illusion, but Maruko <laughs> was left with a severe reality. Maruko is going to be suffering from a pestering grandpa for a few days to come. I dislike the radio exercise. The first day of the summer vacation. It's the morning. Get up! Maruko, time for the radio exercise. Your sister has already left the house. Get up immediately. <sighs> No, thanks. I'll take a day off. I won't make it on time. Get up, Maruko! I don't want to hear any of your excuses! Uh, now get going! Man, I hate this. Exercise early in the morning? Why do some people insist on ruining my precious summer vacation like this? <sighs> make sure you run. Sure, I might get hit by a car, but you're okay with that, right? Uh... She has no problem quibbling early in the morning. Yes, now inhale deeply, breathe, take a deep breath. He just said take a deep breath. That means it'll be over soon. Great. That's it for today's session, everybody. Fantastic. It's all over. And I took the trouble to show. Yeah. See you again. Hope you enjoy today. No problem. Everything will be fine as long as I get a stamp on my participation card. With all this confusion, no one will realize I wasn't here for the exercise. Oh, Maruko. <laughs> Hi, when did you get here? What? A while ago. I attended about half the session. Really? Nonsense. You end up coming late all the time. Wrong. I was in time for the stamp, so I'm not late. I'm home! Okay. Food tastes so much better when you're up early, doesn't it? Mm, it tastes even better when I'm up late. Ah, I'm so full now. That afternoon. Uh, I'm tired. I got up so early. What's this? Are you kidding me? You can't be lazing about again. Get started on your summer homework. <laughs> Did you hear me? <sighs> Why does this child behave this way all the time? Don't bother. She won't listen to you. She's shameless. Yes, that's the perfect word to describe her. <laughs> At dusk. I slept well. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> bon appetit! 
Okay, you seem energetic. Maruko's been sleeping all afternoon, that's why. Those to show people can be quite powerful after a good nap. I feel like I can do anything right now. If that's the case, then do your homework. Uh, no, I've got time to do homework. I want to do something I can only do right now. Wow, passionate and energetic. Right, and that's why I've decided to dance the night away. Oh, ho, yoo-hoo, uh, one uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out! Oh, it's two o'clock. Time flies when you're having fun, huh? <laughs> it's official. I rule the night. Everyone has to do what I tell them to do. The Queen of the Night desires a drink of chocolate milk. The Queen of the Night has a very poor diet. <laughs> I can never get tired playing like this. That nap did wonders for me. I know. I'll just stay up and hit the radio exercise on time. There's no way I'm gonna be late for it this time. <laughs> this idea doesn't deserve a lap slap. In the morning... Maruko, don't tell me you stayed up all night. Of course. Up all night. All night? That's not the key to being up in the morning. Good morning. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh, good morning. You're up quite late. Uh, who knew you were such a sleepy head? <sighs> That's enough of that. Go get ready for the radio exercise. We'll see you in a bit, Mom. Will you walk quickly, please? The air feels so nice and fresh in the morning. Uh, yeah, it's always like this in the morning. You don't know because you're never awake. <laughs> huh? Emerging larva of a cicada. You're right. Okay, come on. Let's catch it on the way back. No, don't even try. It needs to be left alone. Why not? I want to catch it. No, you're not supposed to do that. All right. Is everyone ready to do some exercise? Now, lift. Lift your arms to the sky. Circle them inward. Circle them outward. One, two, good. Now bend forward. One, two. Huh? Three. Your shorts have a huge rip in them, Hamaji. <laughs> they what? Stop staring! <laughs> now spread your legs wide apart. And three, two, one, one. I really two, hate this exercise. Three, How can anyone even two, stand to make one, this pose? One, two. Maruko's wondering exactly what effect this ugly spread your legs exercise can have. I'm home! Mom, you gotta check this out. It's an emerging larva of a cicada. Can you see? It'll be a cicada someday. Oh. I told you to leave that alone. You're so stubborn. I'm not. She's right. You should leave it alone. I'm gonna find out what kind of cicada this is. <sighs> she doesn't listen to anybody. Well, it's good she's taking an interest in it. I'll bet she's sleeping, using her book as a pillow. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> you called it. Uh, uh, what's going on here? That sound is really loud. Uh, uh, the farm is gone. Only the shell is left. Uh, will you help me catch the cicada, Grandpa? Huh? Help catch a cicada? Uh, uh, all right. So, you're ready. Let's catch some cicadas. It's in the house, in this room. Huh? Maruko, what? Grandpa! <laughs> he slipped. He was trying to catch the cicada when he slipped and fell down. <laughs> My goodness, are you all right? Uh, yeah, why? I'm fine. So, um, where's the jewel beetle? Uh, he isn't fine at all. What do we do now? Maruko, it's 11 o'clock. It's time for bed. Soon. Oh, this is what happens when you sleep at odd times. You stay up late. She just won't listen to me. 
It's better than going out to play at night. <laughs> huh, Tukete Kacho is on TV at this hour? We all know they do not exist for the father. <laughs> <laughs> Maruko! <laughs> I don't want you watching programs like this! It's Tukete Kacho. He's bad. <gasps> so bad. <sighs> Expected. He hit his head pretty hard. The next morning... Maruko! Didn't I tell you to go to bed early? <laughs> I can't go while I'm sleepy. It's not good for my health. You want me to suffer? <laughs> That's enough. No need to cry like that. I feel like crying. <laughs> you need to turn in the exercise attendance record to the school. What are you going to do? I could always ask Sis to get it stamped for me. That works. You'll cheat? Why, you... Uh, please, Mom! No, don't hit me! Uh, I didn't even touch you. But I feel like you hit me, though. Uh, I'm so sleepy! I'm sleepy! I don't oh, want to go! I'm I just sleepy. don't know what to I'm do sleepy. about you I'm anymore. Uh, Fine, I give up! Sleepy! Uh, Victory is mine. Listen, dear, I really hate to ask you this, but do your sister a favor and get this stamped for her. <sighs> She's so sneaky! She gets it. She knows from experience that many times in this world making trouble is a surefire way of getting things to work for you. From that day on, Sakiko had to carry Maruko's card every day and get it stamped. Thanks to her, Maruko's exercise attendance record was filled with stamps. And then, at the beginning of the new quarter... Sakura-san, you wrote in your diary that you went to a tropical island. So explain how you have stamps on your exercise record for the same period. <laughs> She's shocked. She realizes that this is a fairly logical question to which she has no answer. Uh. 